So recently, Kickstarter was looking for a new independent contractor. And, well, they finally found someone. So, their job is to get people to get onto their platform. How did that actually turn out in the end? <gasps> this is not going to end well for you, Kickstarter. Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today. And if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in the modern day... The American comic book industry is destroying itself. <laughs> it is just putting gasoline on a flame because they think that's going to work. And instead, it's just going to burn down their business, <laughs> as we've been seeing, because they have absolutely no idea what they're doing. Now, of course, when it comes to Kickstarter, they have now been looking for an independent contractor for comics. So we're going to take a look at this and uh, see what the job details are. And then, of course, we're going to look at what has recently happened, because what's happened has not turned out to be a good thing. Not in the slightest. So, this is what the job details. Kickstarter PBC is seeking a part-time independent contractor to help us support comics creators across the industry. We're particularly interested in speaking to those with an in-depth knowledge of web comics and manga. But we are also open to a more general or traditional comics specialist. This role is primarily scoped for approximately 25 hours per month for six months. Now, that's uh, that's actually less than like six hours a week, like five six hours. Yeah, that, that seems pretty simple, right? Okay, so we're gonna go and look at about the role. So so in this role, you will connect with innovative, savvy writers, editors, and publishers who could be a fit to bring their project projects to Kickstarter. Now keep in mind, Kickstarter doesn't make very much, not as much as you think. So they're looking for more people to be on their platform so it can help them grow, right? You know, they got to make that money. You know what I mean? So what better way to do it than to try to get people onto their platform, right? You know, which is what they're aiming to do here. Make the case for Kickstarter to potential creators and or get a sense of the reasons for reluctance to use it. So trying to have somebody that has good conversation skills, someone that can pitch the idea of Kickstarter to them and kind of say, hey, look, you know, this is why Kickstarter is good. This is why you should use it. You know what I mean? Like, and if they can get people that are from like Indiegogo, you know, their competitors, then, you know, that would be a plus because that's what businesses do. You know, they try to go after their competitors and try to get people to understand that, hey, look, you know, this is why we're better than our competitor. This is what they're trying to do, right? So you kind of get the gist of what they're doing here. This is a pitch to get more people onto their platform. This is what they're doing. Suggest creator resources that could be helpful for Kickstarter to commission and distribute. Offer strategic advice to creators who choose to launch projects both before and during their campaigns, help build relationships with partners in the ecosystems, conventions, writers, groups, associations, etc. Attend weekly check-ins with the Kickstarter team to share your findings and progress. You know, be like, hey, look, this is what I did for Kickstarter. This is how I got people here, you know, or, you know, how I've been trying to, you know, basic stuff like that. Well, with their new consultant, the new person that they hired here, well... They have done the opposite of bringing people, and instead they've blocked hundreds of thousands of customers. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. Uh, Tug had the whole thing, you know, that umbrella guy. Kickstarter's new comic consultant blocked myself and thousands of comics creators. Because this is going to make people come to their platform. Uh, no, it's it's not. <laughs> you know, this is going to make more people go away from Kickstarter rather than to it. This was dumb. This was really stupid that their new independent contractor blocks hundreds of thousands of comic creators yeah this is gonna make more people run away from kickstarter not go to it and this is not the first time the kickstarter had this problem you see uh back when they had camilla jang uh who she was was she basically tried to create a union on what content could and could not be on the platform basically gatekeeping and uh, if your content didn't uh fit their ideology or their perspective then they didn't let you use it you know it was also like how uh, they went after you know, your boy Zach or, you know, YouTuber uh, Diversity in Comics, they went after him because they didn't like his YouTube videos. So they didn't let him have his project on Kickstarter. You know, they basically, you know, just said, no, you can't have this on here. They took it off. You know, Kickstarter's had a very bad history. Now, of course, Camilla Zhang was laid off, uh, probably because of what she was doing. Uh, but they say it was just part of the layoffs, but they probably fired her for what she was doing. But this is not anything out of the ordinary. And now, of course, here we are again with them doing the same thing, seeing that they haven't changed. This is what this shows. They have not changed from what they used to do. Because now they're having this happen. 
you know, you see someone like Pete Gilmore, which he's been working on indie comics himself. And here's the thing, you know, he is with Comicsgate. Now, if you know how the mainstream works, they can't stand Comicsgate. Now, what Comicsgate is, is, you know, they are people who just want to sell comics. You know, they want to get comics out there, you know, which is a good thing. You know, Comicsgate has been doing great things. And they have some very good, you know, pros that people have known. They used to work within the mainstream industry that are now Comicsgate. And so they are now working on getting comics out there themselves. And, of course, you know, you have someone like Jamila Rouser here, who... Probably block them because they're comics gate, which is absolutely absurd. It, it's ridiculous. And you also have Mandy Summers, who was also blocked. And the good thing about independent comics, you know, about indie comics, what you can do is that you can get your stories out there that the mainstream never allowed you to get into to do, to, to push out there, right? You know, to be able to tell the stories you want to tell, the entertainment. But, you know, with this, like, I mean, look, blocked right here, another person. Uh, never had any interactions with this person. Another person right here, blocked. Yet again, no interactions. Uh, see right here, blocked. You know, it's all because they follow these people. Yet again, blocked. I mean, <laughs> you see the problem with this. This very person herself, you know, um, which another person blocked. But this very person herself, she also wanted to get her independent comics out there. And after all this, what's been going on? Oh, right. She's now protected her own tweets. <laughs> now, I just want to say first off, do not contact this person. Leave her alone. Don't don't bother her, okay? But I am going to say this. You look at her profile, right? She has, uh, you know, uh, disabled chronic pain by she slash her. Okay, so this is the typical, you know, like, defense maneuver right here, as they call the, the shield, right? And this is what they use to defend themselves from criticism, to shield themselves from it. This is typical. This is your typical SJW stuff that they do, you know, put this in their uh, bio. And, uh, you know, she herself, it's funny that she wanted to create comics because we're going to take a look at a tweet. Now, while this is protected, people had tweets of what she had stated, and we're going to take a look at this. This is what she stated. Big news, I am Kickstarter's new comics consultant. Kickstarter was one of the reasons I felt I even had a chance in making comics the way I wanted to make them, and I can't wait to help other creators. You can see the hypocrisy in her is that she talks about how, oh, I want to make comics that I want to make, and that's fine, because this means that anybody is allowed to make comics however they want. You know, you are allowed to do that. Nothing wrong with that. But here's the hypocrisy with her is the fact that she said she wanted to make comics the way she wanted to make them, by using, you know, indie platforms, you know, like Kickstarter. And then in the end, well, what does she do? She goes after independent creators that stand with Comicsgate. You know, it shows her hypocrisy, because these are people that, both pros and even small names, that want to get their stories out there also. But she goes after them because Comicsgate. Which is absolutely absurd. I mean, there's no reason for that, but that's what she's doing. Look, I'll tell you right now, if it was me, I would fire her straight on the spot because of this. Because, you know, you don't go and do this. You know, it's funny that you see Kickstarter, if they were the ones who asked to do this, right, to have thousands, hundreds of thousands of people uh, being completely blocked, you know, whatever. The whole job is actually to try to bring people to the platform when it could actually possibly make things better. Because, who knows, maybe Kickstarter could have, you know, had something better for other creators. You know, maybe... But not now. No, no way. You know, why would anybody want to be interested in a platform that's so closed-minded and bigoted? You know, no reason to go to Kickstarter if they're going to do something like this. And this is just disgusting. You know, you have people that are different. You know, that's the point of being individual. It's the point of you being yourself. You know, you were going to have a different thought process than somebody else. You're going to do things differently than other people. You have your own personality, your own quirks. It makes you your own person. You know, and... It seems more like here with what she was doing was, you know, oh, look, look, um, I'm, I'm going to block anybody that doesn't, that doesn't uh, agree with me. That doesn't do the stories I do. It doesn't fall in line with my thoughts. Because that's, that's what it sounds like here. You know, and if Kickstarter, this is if, but if Kickstarter was the one to tell her to block this, then this is one of the most idiotic things I've ever seen a business do. Because what you're doing is 
you are basically just attacking all these people. You're closing them out. You're gatekeeping these people from being able to tell the stories that they want to tell. This is ridiculous. This is a dumb move. And it goes to show that don't use Kickstarter. Don't do it. If they're going to hire people like this. Because I surely won't. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And make sure you are still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you are still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like and also be sure to share the video on social media. Spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on both Discord and Minds. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released. As well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on both Discord and Minds. The links are in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.